Hello people, it's Gino here from realeverydayenglish.com. I'm back again with one of these Thoughts of a Native Speaker video. Um, these, these kind of videos are the way I learn best. So I'm going to start doing these quite regular on my channel because people like them, as I said in the previous one. So you can see, it, this may look a mess, but what this is, is it's all of our cleaning equipment out of the van. Because, I don't know if you know, but just recently... Um, I've changed jobs, so I work with. I'm now working with my dad, and we do a um, a, a very special type of cleaning. It's a, it's called deep cleaning. Um, so we go into houses that are uh, in bad condition, in really bad condition. Or oh, we also do industrial cleaning, commercial cleaning, things like that. But the reason I unloaded I, I unloaded all this out of the van last night was because I needed to go and pick something up for somebody, so I needed to get it all out of the van. But now I'm looking at it before I load it back into the van. So when we put things into the back of a van, we use the verb load. So I'm just about to load all this back into the van. But before I do that, I thought it was a good opportunity to um, to teach you some vocabulary points just using the stuff that we've got here. Because this is um, like cleaning products, we would describe them as. And you've got machines as well. But let's have a look what we've got. So in this box here, we've got... A plunger. Now, a plunger is used to um, unblock sinks. So if you don't know what a sink is, um, this is a sink. And the plunger, we use the plunger to unblock the drain. So if lots of food gets down there, I have this little safety catcher for food. But if lots of food gets down the drain, sometimes it gets blocked. And that's when you would use... Um, a plunger to unblock it so that's a plunger it's um you get all different kinds of them this, this is slightly more complicated one than you would usually see um usually it's just a this has got some kind of pump on it so it's a bit of an advanced but it's a plunger anyway that's what we call that so what have we got in this in this um i would call this a, a tub so this is a plastic tub or a plastic container of some sort. And a vocabulary point to note here is, is that this tub is transparent. There's two, there's, there's two phrases we can use to describe that. So one is transparent. Two, we could say that it's see-through. And what we mean by that is that you can see through it. So you can see if I put my fingers inside the box, you can see my fingers on the other side because it's transparent or see-through. Whereas this box, for example, this black one, if I put my fingers down there, you can't see them because it's not transparent. It's not see-through. It's not see-through. So these, this machine here is um, it's used for windows. So there are two elements to it. So we clean windows using this. So the first one is this. You've got a little bottle at the bottom. So you put some um, water and washing up liquid in there. Spray that onto the window. Rub it. Or rub it in, clean it with this. It's like um, it's a cloth or a window cleaner kind of thing. And then once you've done that, you switch this on. This is a kind of a Hoover. So you can you can hear that you can hear it functioning now. You then put that on a window. I know this is not a window. This is a door, and it hoovers the um, the soapy water off, and it leaves it perfectly clean. And you can see in the bottom there all the or the uh, dirty water from the windows, it collects in the bottom. Um, so that little bottom, that little bottle at the bottom collects all of the waste, dirty water, we would say. Um, then you've got various spray bottles. So that one's a deodorizer, gets rid of smells, things like that. Different spray bottles there. So let's just move that to the side. This one's a disinfectant. You can see the word written on the bottle there, disinfectant. And a disinfectant is um, is something that it kills bacteria, kills germs. And you've got a, a big bottle of bleach. This is a big bottle. Um, and these have a safety, it's a safety cap. So this is the cap. But if you twist it, you'll hear it click, 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 click. And that's because you have to push down and then twist. Otherwise, it won't come open because um, it's like a safety feature because it's quite dangerous if, if a child was to get this and decide to drink it, for example. 
it wouldn't end very well. Then we have the Hoover. So you know what a Hoover is. And if we pull the, this is the cable and the plug, but if we pull the wire out, so we pull it out, and then to get it back in, we have to, you see this here, we have to wind it. So we wind in up the cable. So we're winding up the cable. And you can see this is not, um, it's not a freestanding Hoover. So you've got the Hoover, the actual machine, then you've got the, the pipe, which is, uh, it's like a Hoover pipe. It's corrugated, can you see that? It's like th those ribs that you can see in it, that we, we refer to that as um, corrugated. Um, and then you've got all of the Hoover pipes there with the Hoover head on the end. So that's the Hoover. These black bags here, um, in, in Northern England, we call these bin bags. Um, so if somebody asks you for a bin bag, have you got any bin bags? This is what they mean. They mean the, the black, large waste bags. Um, I think the Americans call them garbage bags. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure that's what the Americans call them, but we call them bin bags here. So when you come to England, make sure you refer to them as bin bags. If you say garbage bags, people will understand you, but it just, it doesn't sound um, natural, like something we would say because we use the um, bin bags. So what have we got in this bag? Uh, we've got some cloths. So these are cloths. Uh, you get all different kinds of colors of cloths. Um, but that's just a, a standard yellow cloth that we use for cleaning. They're very good. They hold a lot of water, so on and so forth. Then we've got the mop bucket. So a bucket is a large plastic container that holds water, but this is a mop bucket because inside here we've got the mop. This, this pole, by the way, it extends. It's at the shortest. But the reason why this is a mop bucket is because it's got... Um, an area to squeeze out the mop. So you put the water and the bleach and the disinfectant in there. You dip the mop in, turn it around like so. And then this, you, you have to twist the mop into it and then push down. And as you push down, it squeezes the excess water out of the mop. So that's the verb to squeeze. So it squeezes, it rings, or you can say it rings out, it rings out the mop. So it gets all the water out of it and then you can then mop the floor because obviously you don't want to be putting water um, all over the floor. Then we've got some, these are, these are really thick rubber gloves. Um, we have lots of PPE when we go into, into these settings because as I said, the, the houses that we deal with tend to be um, in really bad condition. It's, it's called deep cleaning. We do deep cleaning. Then we've got, this here is a is a steamer so it's a steam machine steam is uh, when you heat up water and you get the vapor of water coming off that's what you call steam and this this machine what it does is it heats water up then it uh, releases the steam out of the end of this gun so this is a, a steaming gun so as you as you press the trigger the steam comes out of the end it comes out of the end there and we usually put a cloth over that and use it for scrubbing things. Um, what else? What else have we got? We've got some kitchen roll. So kitchen roll. This is really good for soaking up water. I'll show you an example. Show you an example. I'll uh, soak up some water with this. So I need to tear, tear a piece of this off. So I'm going to tear it off. There you go. I have a piece turned off. And if we get a cup and we turn the tap on, the water is now running. We use the word run to describe flowing water in English. Put a bit in the cup, spill it onto the worktop, and then this kitchen roll will soak it up. Look, you can see the water in the kitchen roll. It's soaked it up, or it's absorbed it. We can use the word absorb as well. So the kitchen roll has absorbed the water. Let's go back to the cleaning products. Um, what have we got in this bag here? So this is my PPE bag. Um, that's like an, an overall. So that's a, a blue overall that I wear over my clothes. It's a bodysuit, but we refer to them as overalls. So it's a work overall. So if I just take that out, then you can see in here, 
we've got um, this is my respirator so I use this to protect my lungs from um, from the dust and the dirt in the hoses that we go into um, but also from the cleaning products and you can see that it's got these are straps these straps here go over the back of the head and then this rubber part here this rubber section goes over the nose and mouth and on the side we've got filters they are filters and you need to change the filters every three months to make sure that it works but this is really good um, it also stops the smell so if you go into a place that's really smelly you can't smell it because you've got the respirator on um, what else have we got we've got some fly killer so this kills it doesn't just kill flies you can see there's a picture of a fly on the side um, it kills insects basically uh, flying insects so it's a spray you just spray it in the air and it it kills all of the um, all of the flies then we've got some polish we use polish to clean surfaces wooden surfaces so for, for example I would use polish to clean this surface here um, or the TV stand or the little table with the lamp on it over there I would also use the polish for that it makes it nice and shiny makes it nice and shiny then we've got some um, hand sanitizer so this you, you put this on your hands and rub it in so you rub your hands together and rub the sanitizer in and it basically kills all the germs that are on your hands then we've got some um, I would call that sticky tape um, brown sticky tape uh, the clear version of this so the see-through version we would call sellotape I'm gonna try and find some here yeah so so this is sellotape this is standard um, sellotape so we call this sellotape and you can see it's actually written on the front of the sellotape um, and we call this I would call that brown sticky tape so that's the difference this is more for um, industrial use uh, commercial use it's a lot stronger it's uh yeah so it's a lot stronger what else have we got um can't really see anything else so yeah um hope you learned some new vocabulary let me know in the comment section if you did um i'm always happy to know when i'm helping people and helping you take your english to the next level um i'll see you people on sunday when i release my next video have a great weekend and see you soon bye bye